Rarely in history have a product and a corporation had such impact in so short a time. But for Atari, this is just the beginning. Atari is looking forward. Soon, video games will be part of many more American homes, perhaps the majority, and Atari will be at the center of the electronic household. Atari's strategy for the future is based firmly in the present, in a thorough understanding of consumer responses to video games, to the video computer system, to Atari. Atari's consumer research department is working hard to broaden and deepen this understanding. The vast majority of owners are satisfied with their Atari video games. Use continues at high levels for months and years after the set is purchased. The typical purchaser buys several cartridges initially and a new one every three months. Clearly, the concept of a programmable game player with interchangeable cartridges is an enormous success. To build on this success, Atari must make game systems that provide years of reliable service and provide a steady supply of exciting new games. In Atari's manufacturing division, reliability has been translated into a three-word motto, test, test, and test. Each new design is tested, manufacturing procedures are tested, and each product is tested and retested during assembly. The first step in developing a product is a breadboard a handmade prototype that engineers use to test the feasibility of an idea. Then comes a pilot run and more evaluation. Consumers are asked to rate the new device. Is this something they will buy? Do people like the materials, the colors, the handling? The quality has to show. Now Atari gears up for a pre-production run. Thousands of products are made and field tested. Specifications are tightened. Components are burned in. As one of the major users of electronic components, Atari demands the highest quality from suppliers. Each chip, each capacitor, each resistor must be stable, dependable, ready for years of heavy use. Dependability costs money. Atari is investing heavily in test equipment, in a top flight quality assurance and reliability operation. Atari is constantly studying, updating, improving existing products. The goal? is trouble-free operation. As long as the set works properly, Atari owners will recommend Atari to their friends and come back for more game cartridges. Atari is succeeding. Quality, durability, ongoing performance are among the major reasons given by Atari video game owners for their purchases. Meanwhile, the software department is hard at work on the heart of the Atari experience. Imaginative new games. Concepts come from many sources, inside and outside the company. Ideas are evaluated and refined in brainstorming sessions by programmers and designers. The next step is storyboards, drawn by an artist. If the concept looks promising, a programmer is assigned to develop a working model. After months of review and refinement, the game is tested by a focus group of consumers, all of them avid video game players. While designers and programmers watch and listen from another room, the panelists say exactly what they like and don't like about the new game. Creating games is not a business for delicate egos. After more refinement and evaluation, the new game is play-tested by a larger group, 100 or more average game players. Their responses are carefully evaluated by marketing planners. The whole process requires six to nine months. But when it's over, Atari has a reliable, objective measurement of a new game's potential. What makes a successful game? Challenge, excitement, sounds, action. Marketing researchers offer these guidelines and more specific recommendations for new generations of video games. Games that will make video games part of more lives open the doors of more homes, keep people involved with their Atari products year after year. It's a long-term strategy, a carefully planned strategy, a winning strategy.